And now if I press the top button, there you go, turns on, turns off. So now if I press the second button, lamp turns on, press it again. Now if I press the third button, there you go, curtains are closing. Hi there. So today I've got a video, slightly different. So this is more of a concept video and I'm gonna try and demonstrate this concept. So in terms of Wi-Fi light switches, I've got one here. Now to install many of these switches, you normally need a neutral wire. Now for those people who don't have a neutral wire, like myself, you may have to go for a light switch with a capacitor that needs to be installed at the junction point. Now, I don't really like the idea of putting these capacitors in. So this is my idea here. So I've got a Wi-Fi light bulb and I've got a three button switch here. Now what I'm proposing is if you look on the back, you can see live neutral and the switch connections here for switch live. Now what I'm thinking, we don't use any of the switch live connections. And what we do is just use live and neutral and on the actual switch itself, change the switch live to a neutral. So then you really do have a live and neutral coming down. And now the impact of this is, is the fact that you wouldn't be able to control your light in the ceiling via the actual light switch. Now, here's a clever bit. So what you do, you buy a smart light bulb, you put that in the top, it's always in the on position, and then you set up smart rules to control it. Now the reason for buying a three button switch, you can actually program these buttons to do different things. So for example, in your living room, if you also had a lamp or you had any other smart tech, you could say perhaps the top button is for your light and a smart scene would turn on the light. And then the second one could be for a lamp and maybe even the third one could be for a device or even opening up your curtains. So let me show you what the electrical side of it looks like. And if you're an electrician, do comment on this video. It'd be good to see what your feedback is on attempting to do this. I'm at my light switch here. I've taken it off the wall. Electrics are isolated just to show. So my lives here and my switch lives here. Now, what I propose to do, as I've said, we'll take the sleeving off this and we'll disconnect the wires here. So this will be neutral afterwards. Now, looking at the ceiling rows here, just to highlight a couple of things. So there's a sleeving there, and that sleeving matches up with what was on the light switch. Now, what I propose to do is take that wire out, and that should, if I take the sleeving off, have blue underneath it, and put that wire into one of these connections. So there'll be two wires going into there, two blue wires. Brown one's already going into there. And what I'm gonna do is put this in, so it's just a small wire and it will just make that one live. So you've got neutral here, live here. So this ceiling rose will be permanently on and to turn it off, you'd have to flip the switch on the consumer unit to turn it off completely. And the switch will have permanent live and neutral. Now with electrics, you've got to be very careful. If you're not sure what you're doing, do not attempt this. It's just a concept I'm showing here. And I'm not suggesting you do this. It's just giving ideas for smart tech, that's all. So if you don't understand what you're doing, get an electrician in and get them to check it and do it for you. So let me make a start with this. I'm gonna unscrew this wire, I'm gonna take the sleeving off, I'm gonna move it over there to neutral, I'm gonna put this cable in so this is permanently live. Okay, so there we have it, wiring's completed, and you can see the neutral wire's been switched over from that position to over here. It's going into a single connector block, and I've got a cable crossing over from there to there to provide live on the ceiling rose cable. So this is now ready to have a smart bulb connected to it. We're at the light switch now, and let me remove the screws here, then we can install the smart light switch. So. If I now come in here, flip that off, that reveals the components for this. So you've got a screw holes just over here. Obviously do note the depth of this. So installation can be quite tight. Sometimes you do have to replace the back box, but obviously this is just for demonstration purposes. 
So let me remove the screws here first. I'll remove the sleeving as this will be a proper neutral connection. And let's wire this in. So neutral goes here. And live gets wired in in this location. There we have it. The wires are securely in position now. Let's put the front plate back on here. I've screwed the ceiling rows back into the ceiling and I've installed the smart bulb just over here. So that's that sorted out. Looking at the wall, the light switch is now attached to the wall and we're ready to test. Now I've turned the electricity back on and as you can see the Wi-Fi light switch, there's no lights on there. If I press the buttons, a little light comes on indicating it's on. Now this isn't configured at the moment. Now looking at our Smart Life app, you can see all the other products I've got in there. So let's add in this light switch first. But just to note, it doesn't control anything at all. It's just powered. That's all it is. Nothing more than that. Now if I click on the plus, we click on switch Wi-Fi and it says confirm indicator rapidly blink and it's not. So if I hold on to the button here and there you go the indicators rapidly blinking now. So if I click the button, my Wi-Fi details are already cached, hence why they're already filled in. If I click confirm, and let's give it a moment to connect. And there you go, the light switch is added in now. So you can see it says three buttons. If I click done, it says there's a new firmware found for this. So let's update that now straight away. Firmware update is successful. Now, this is the interface you're presented with. I won't run through all the options. I've shown this sort of functionality in many other videos, so you should be well aware of how this all works. So, first thing to mention is we can control the buttons. So they all can be turned on and off. You can see the blue light there must be indicating that there's Wi-Fi connectivity. Now, coming back, this is the interesting bit now. So if I click on Smart, we'll click automation plus and this is the side we want to work on so when the device status changes so if I click on that we can say three buttons switch one if it's turned on now what we want to do we want to run a device and the one we want to do is living room light and that's the smart lights that's in the ceiling rows at the moment so if I click on that and we want to switch it on save that next to that and that's one rule ready and if I click save automation created start using it yes so now in theory if I press the top button the light should turn on so before I test this out let me add in one more and we'll go for device status changes buttons switch one it's turned off and what we want to do we want to turn off the living room light Switch off, next to that, save that, start using it, yes. And there you go, they're both ready now. So in theory, I should be able to turn off the living room light and turn it on using the top button. Now I've positioned an additional camera to the light so you can see it in action. And now if I press the top button, there you go, turns on, turns off. How cool is that? So a switch that requires a neutral wire being connected directly via live and neutral. There's no connection to the actual light. The light is on a permanent on basis and setting up a smart rule, you can control it. How cool is that? I've always wondered if it's possible without changing too much wiring to get this working in a single room and it is as you can see. Obviously the trade-off is you've got to have the light on all the time and there has to be a rule set up. Now, one of the things to note, if your Wi-Fi went off and you wanted to turn the light on in the room, it's not gonna work. So it relies on the fact your Wi-Fi is on for connectivity purposes, and then it's able to turn the light on. Now, this is where it can get even more exciting because I had one light switch here, now I've got the possibility of some other buttons here. So I can actually get it controlling other items. So now, if I come over to the app and click on the plus, when device status changes, 
three buttons, switch two, and if it's turned on, run the device, and I'm going to select lamp. So this is the lamp I've got in the room, so I can get that turning on as well. And I'll click next to that, save that, start using it, and there you go, that's added in. Let me add in an additional one for turning it off as well. So let me click here, when device status changes, switch to off, run the device, lamp, let's turn that off, save to that, next to that, and save start using it yes and there you go that's added so i'm also added going to add in one more and that's for my curtains so if i click plus and this will be for the third button if it's turned on run the device living room curtain and if it's on save to that start using it to yes and let me add in one more to do the opposite on the curtain to close it hopefully so there you go that's all the rules added in so let's test this out now so now if I press the second button lamp turns on press it again lamp turns off so how cool is that no connection between it just doing the control via the smart rules now I've repositioned my second camera onto my curtains now if I press the third button there you go Curtains are closing. Let's let them close completely. And if we want to open them, press the button. How cool is that? So, replacing a single light switch with multiple smart Wi Fi switch and get it controlling other things. I think it's an amazing idea. If you're an electrician, let me know what you think. Obviously, I don't even know if this is legal to do, but the concept's there for anyone wanting to do it. I'm not suggesting you do do it. I'm just giving you ideas what's possible if you're in a situation like me where you don't have a neutral wire on your light switch. So there you go. Hope it's inspired people with their smart tech. Details for all the products I've used are in the description below. Thanks for viewing, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.